Hello everybody. Uh, so this is going to be a video lesson on lesson 8, communication. You can find it in page 152. And the topic for today is all your dreams are worth chasing. So the schedule for today is we are starting with key expressions then we're going to move on to the vocabulary crossword that I'm going to show you then we are going to do the vocabulary followed by a listening exercise and then you are going to do the Google Classroom quiz on that listening exercise so there are going to be a lot of key expressions so I will try to go through them quickly so let's start you could just follow the little cloud uh, that I've put up for you so the first one prepare for so we need to prepare for the exam you need to get ready you can make it you are so good, you can make it. So I believe in you and I am trying to support you. Apply for. Are, mm. I am going to apply for Yangok High School for next year. I'd say, so I would say, so I'd say you need to bring three pens to your exam. So that is my opinion. That is something that I would say. Set one's alarm. So I am going to set my alarm early to wake up at six. Do one's hair. So before I go to school, I spend 10 minutes doing my hair. So, fixing my hair. Traffic jam. So, between 5 and 7, there is a big traffic jam going into Seoul. Get off. So, you must get off the bus at the next stop. Used to. I used to have short hair now I have long hair lots of examples about hair not anymore so for my diet I am not going to eat candy anymore so that's my I'm not going to do this anymore over and over so I must keep practicing my guitar over and over if I want to be good one day. So do it a lot, again and again, over and over. Okay, key expressions, two out of three. <laughs> There's going to be a lot, I'm sorry. So go after. Never be afraid to go after your dreams, to chase after, to pursue. Be ashamed of. So the criminals were ashamed of what they did. Go by. I am going to go by the park on my way home. How come? So how come is just a question. So if one person says I'm going to bring an umbrella then this person can say how come? And this person will say, it might rain today. So, like having a conversation. In other words, so I need five minutes to get ready. In other words, I'm nearly done. So five minutes, nearly done. So in other words. Day in and day out. My dog is always in a happy mood day in and day out. As usual, I am going to wear my favorite shoes as usual. Side by side, 
So all the cars were parked side by side. After a while, the baby got tired and fell asleep. All of a sudden, the sky went dark and it started to rain. So very quickly, the sky went... Okay. Managed to. So can you manage to study and exercise in the evening? Thanks to the detective, the stolen car was found. So these are all the simple key expressions. Now we are going to do some slightly more complicated ones um, that are in the speaking part of the textbook. So I'm just going to read through them quickly. You can read through the Korean translations um, to make sure that you understand what is going on. So we have, I'm afraid, you're mistaken. Then we have, should have, must have, and may have. So if you need, please pause the video and read about what's going on. All right. So let me show you examples. The first one, so the example is, what is two plus eight? Then it is six. I'm afraid you're mistaken. So if that makes sense, let me explain it for a bit more. So when we say I'm afraid, it's kind of like saying I'm sorry um, because I don't want to tell you. Uh, so I'm afraid you're going to be upset. So I'm sorry. And then mistaken is wrong. So another word or in other words, um, I'm sorry, you are wrong. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Okay, that was the easy one. Now let's do should have. So, I did very badly in my test. I should have studied. So, I want you to try remember, so what is it, hu hue hada? So, regret. I should have. So, as in, I wish I can go back in time and fix something. So I should have. I should have gone back in, I, back in time. I should have done that. The next one. He did very badly in his test. He must have forgotten to study. So must have is there is, it's called causation. So in gua guangye. Um, this happened because that happened. So that happened, so this must have happened, if that makes sense. Okay, and then the last key expression that we're going to focus on is may have. So, your friend looks tired. She may have gone to bed late. So the important thing about may have is that we don't know. We're not sure. Maybe she went to bed early, maybe she went to bed late, and now she's tired. Or she is tired from something else. So, with may have, it's a maybe, so like Amado, this happened because that happened. It's possible, but we don't know. That's the important one. So now I've got some examples between must have, should have, may have. Um, so if we look at the tire, the tire is flat. Um, so what do you think? I must have gotten a puncture. I should have gotten a puncture. I may have gotten a puncture. Okay, tell me. Okay, I want you to figure it out because I'm going to show you the answer in three, two, one. So I must have gotten a puncture because we can see the tire is flat. So it's not may have, it's not possible that that's happened. We definitely got a puncture and then I should have gotten a puncture is different. Okay, so now I dot 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 checked my tire last night. 
Um, so I must have checked my tire last night. I should have checked my tire last night or I may have checked my tire last night. Okay, pause the video and try figure out which one. Okay, because I'm going to tell you in three, two, one. I should have checked my tire last night. Okay, now the next one. Dinosaurs dot 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 been able to ride bicycles. So dinosaurs must have, dinosaurs should have or dinosaurs may have been able to ride the bicycles. Quickly pause, figure it out. Because three, two, one. And we have dinosaurs may have. Because we don't know. Maybe it happened, maybe it didn't. But dinosaurs lived millions and millions of years ago. So we will never know. The next one. I something forgotten to charge my phone last night. Now, you can try to tell me what the answer is or pause. So the answer is I must have forgotten to charge my phone last night because oh it's in the sentence because it is flat. We can change it slightly to say I dot 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 charged my phone last night now should we must have should have or may have because also it's flat but now we've changed the sentence slightly so what do you think it is three two one and we have I should have charged my phone last night so I regret it and I wish I could go back in time and fix it the next one, okay. I'm gonna go through this one quickly. I must have, should have, may have forgotten how to swim. Three, two, one. I may have forgotten how to swim. As in, I am scared and I am not sure if I can swim. So you can see the little girl is scared. So the little girl over here. Um, you dot 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 studied hard for the test and you got an F. So what do we think that means? Out of context, you should have studied hard for the test. I can change it, but this time we have an A. So you, something, something, studied hard for the test. And we will say, must have studied hard for the test to get an A. So you should have studied hard for the test to not get an F. You must have studied hard for the test to get an A. Okay, so here is the crossword that I have made for you. This is going to include all the vocabulary terms. There are 30 vocabulary terms. And I think just for the fun of it, um, I have made a secret word. So you can see there's the main one Number 14 down it says secret word. You must try and figure out what that um, word is. Okay, um, and that's just going to be fun. I might make it a bonus question in the quiz if you want. So let's say three points, bonus points in the quiz. So I am just going to go through these vocabulary terms. I will read them quickly and you can pause, read the Korean subtitles, but I will read them for you to practice the pronunciation and how they sound. Okay, so let's go. Express, quite, imagination, completely, stuck, mistaken, connect, challenging, league, found. Create, suit, serious, impatient, read, rest, regret, decision, worth, opportunity. Repair, offer, pick, cycle, thick, scream, dirt, breathe, relief, 
manager. Okay, so these are words that you will see and hear in the listening exercise, the dialogues, as well as the whole lesson eight chapter and the reading part. So I recommend you go through these words and make sure you remember them and maybe get your textbook, find these words and you can write down the Korean translations to help you understand. So let's move on to the listening exercise. We are going to be doing dialogues one, two and three. You can listen to the dialogues in this video in the next part and then I have also made a Google quiz for you to do. The quiz is based on the dialogues so listen and then you can answer the questions. So let's begin with dialogue one. Hi Sora, what are you doing? I'm drawing cartoons. I'm preparing for the exam for Mana Animation High School. Oh, are you? When is the exam? On Friday, so I only have two days left. How's it going? It's not easy to draw what I want to express. I should have practiced more. Don't worry, you can make it. Thanks. Okay, now let's move on to dialogue two. Nice to meet you, Sora. Did you do well on the drawing exam? I'm not sure, but I did my best. Okay, let's start the interview. What made you apply for Mana Animation High School? Well, I've really loved drawing cartoons since I was a little child. So, you want to be a cartoon artist? That's not quite right. I want to be a game designer. I see. What do you think is the most important skill a game designer needs? I'd say imagination. A good designer should create a completely new world in a game. Sounds good. And finally, let's do dialogue three. Hi, Jiho. Hi, Amber. It's nice to see you on the bus. Yeah. But I'm afraid we're going to be late. Yeah, I hate to be late for the school festival. Me too. I should have set my alarm. I forgot. I understand. That happens a lot to me when I'm tired too. How about you? What made you late? Well, I got up early, but it took me some time to do my hair. Oh, I see. We're stuck in a heavy traffic jam. We should get off and run. No, you're mistaken. The traffic is starting to move again. Let's stay on. Okay, I just hope we're not terribly late. Okay, so I hope you followed everything in the listening exercise. I hope that you find the quizzes, questions nice and easy. Um, I hope they weren't too tricky because I like to include questions that make you think in English. Um, that has been lesson eight for today. I hope this was very helpful in helping you prepare for your exam um, on the 23rd of November in about two weeks time. And that is it from me. Uh, good luck with your studying and I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.